Hello everyone and welcome to the class. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do green screen, also known as chroma key, in Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, today's date, I would like to try to mention, is January 20th of 2015. I'd like to mention that because as we are all very aware, technology seems to change very, very quickly and therefore you have a ability to judge how long ago I recorded this video. Um, and today we're going to show you how to do this on Final Cut Pro, and it's Final Cut Pro 10.1.4 is the current version as of today's date. Um, so before we really get started here, I want to give you a couple of little tips and tricks and pieces of advice too. Um, so the first thing I want to do is kind of let you know what equipment we use. Now everything I'm about to mention, you will find links to all of it in the description of this video. Um, it's not that expensive to do all of this stuff. I mean, you can certainly use better equipment, you can go big, um, but it's still, it's really not that horribly expensive. Um, so the first thing uh, is you need decent lighting. Um, the company that I've always kind of been a fan of is Cowboy Lighting. Um, they uh, make studio lighting, all different types. Um, the ones that we use were the Matbox set, and they come in sets of two or three. Normally, I would actually recommend three um, for balanced lighting, um, for, for true three-point lighting. Um, but for where we record, we don't have room for three of them, um, 10 by 12 foot office. So we operate on a very, very teeny tiny little budget. Um, but for, to give you an idea of cost for two lights, I paid $75. That includes the special bulb. It is a special bulb that it takes. It's not something you can just buy at a hardware store. Um, and um, the one with three lights, I don't remember, but it's not, it's not significantly more expensive. Uh, then there's, of course, the green screen itself. Uh, they come in different sizes. I will list a few of them in the description. Uh, six by nine foot uh, green screen was twenty dollars. A ten by ten foot was twenty eight dollars. And then one additional piece of equipment that we use that uh, you may or may not want to use is a really cool piece of lighting equipment. It's called a ring light, and the one we use is made by a company called Stellar. And it's basically this circular um, CFL bulb, essentially. And what it does is if you've ever um, let's say like gone to a fashion magazine, you may have seen images where the model appears to have this sort of like a halo effect in their eye. And that is actually a light. And what you do is you put your camera in the middle of that light and you get that perfect halo effect. It's great, especially with people who have very um, bright or uniquely colored eyes. I know I, I'm very fortunate. I was born with like very strange green yellow eyes. So for those of you who have left me comments in past videos saying, are you wearing contacts? No, that's real. There's nothing fake about that one. Um, and then um, also, uh, I have two websites to share with you here. Uh, this is a website that I use pretty much re uh, religiously these days. It's called Video Hive. Um, with a lot of my other little video projects, I tend to go to them. And what I tend to do on this website is um, when I'm in their website, I'll go to motion graphics here and they have background items. And so these are, you know, everything from a flag waving in the background to uh, view from the International Space Station, really whatever you want. There's a ton of different content here and they have it in, you know, full high def, um, but it's just um, a nice way to make your background image a little bit better than just a still image. Um, so you can check them out. Uh, link in the description. By the way, I really do appreciate if you happen to use that particular link um, because we get credit should you uh, buy one of those backgrounds. And they're really, as you can see here on the right, they're not expensive. And finally, um, if you want to really kick it up a notch, um, it's a little bit more expensive, but not still. We're not talking um, overly expensive. Virtual Studio Set. These guys make virtual sets. Uh, for those of you who've ever seen television shows like Tosh.0, we have here in America, as well as The Soup. This is basically what they do. They're standing in front of a green screen. They just replace it with a set. It's also a great way to kind of set yourself up, no pun intended, so that down the road you can kind of quote-unquote upgrade. Okay? And, of course, every place here where you see these fake HD TV sets are areas where you can also delete space and put in video clips and whatever you want. So let's rock and roll here. I've got here Final Cut Pro and I've got a little clip uh, from me. So let me just kind of do an in and out point. And I'm just going to add that to my timeline. Okay. Just should have put that over here. My bad. Um, so first thing you're going to do is click on your clip so that it's highlighted. Go over here on the right hand side 
and we're going to go into the Effects tab, which is uh, the one right here. And you'll see we have a list of different items here. We're going to go into Keying. Okay, again, Chroma Key is the technical name for what we're doing here. And we're going to take Keyer, and we're going to just drag it and drop it on top of our clip. Oh, I'm sorry, I did the wrong one. I did mask. My bad. Undo. Keyer. Sorry about that. I was wondering. I thought it looked a little weird. So there you can see, right off the bat, it actually did a very good job without me even having to fine-tune anything. Um, you can see there's a little bit of leakage right over here, digital light leakage. Um, there's no cream for that. Um, sorry, that's me getting random. Uh, so here on the right-hand side, we have our uh, all of our different settings to really fine-tune and tweak this. Um, if you don't see it for any reason, it's this button right here. Okay, so if your screen looks like this, just tap that button. And now we can start to fine tune it. And if you scroll down here, the, the key thing that I found to be very helpful is here in where it says uh, spill, I think this is spill suppression. I think that's what that actually says. And we have spill contrast. That for me was like a really helpful tool. And see that, if, I don't know how well you guys can see this on your end, but if you look at this little speck right here, that's actually light bleeding in from behind the green screen. There you can see that. Okay, so if I start to kind of shrink that gap, kind of reins it in right there. Okay, and there's all these extra little tools here like fill holes um, that you can start to play with and just get it perfect. Another thing that's kind of nice that you can do right from here is you can tweak your saturation and your tinting if you need to. You can do it right here without having to do further uh, color correction, but you can also do the normal color correction. You're just going to be dealing with your subject here. And then as far as adding in uh, the rest of the video, let's say I have my little virtual set right here, just drag it and drop it underneath the clip. So what we have to do at this point is we're going to move me over here. And to do that, it's really simple. All we're gonna do, once again, click on the clip that contains the subject, okay? If you look here at the bottom, uh, just to the bottom left of the image, there's this little icon here. We're gonna click Transform. Okay, and hit, of course, crop. Sorry, there we go. Turn it so that it's blue. And then just drag it and drop it. Done. And so now if we hit play. Pretty cool, right? Really, really simple stuff. Now, to get rid of that image that you see, uh, in this case, in the TV, you're basically going to do just the same thing one more time. So what you're going to do is you click on that particular clip go here into Keyer, drag it in, voila, it's gone. And you could add in whatever your remaining image is and just put it right there. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. You can see it's actually very, very simple. It's one of these technologies that I had always found, um, I had always found it to be very overwhelming. And I was like, oh my God, it looks so complicated. And then you learn how to do it and you're like, really? Seriously, dude, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Pretty, um, pretty amazing stuff. And just knowing this one little trick, you can really up your game in whatever videos you're creating. So uh, please leave us your comments. Leave us your feedback in the uh, comment section beneath the video. This is David A. Cox with PC Classes Online. If you want to find out more about our live classes uh, and everything, a couple of quick things that you can do. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, that's probably the best method these days. Uh, you can also check out our website um, at pcclassesonline.com. We're a completely free public service. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Take care, everyone. Class dismissed.